Okay, so before I go, I'm going to tell you the story about being my twin brother, because some of you have asked about this. So, when I was in high school, I had met this girl with my homeboy, right? And I'll never forget this, because I was like 15 years old, right? Or was I 14? I mean, maybe 16, I'm somewhere in there. But, like, I met this girl, and I didn't really like her. She kind of got on my nerves. But I remember I was riding with my homeboy, because my homeboy knew her, and I was in the back seat. And she just started talking about, like, all this freaky stuff that she was doing, right? Like, she was just all about this, right? She went to the, she went to the high school of performing and visual arts, which some of you may know as the alma mater of one Beyonce knows. Anyway, she was just going on and on about all this stuff she be doing and what they do at PVA because PVA had their rep and how people, because there's all those music practice rooms that are soundproof, you know, so people can practice their music and how you can just go into the rooms and all this stuff and da-da-da and all this. And I got to lie, at, at, that, at the age and the stage of the development that I was in, I was a little bit intimidated, right? A little bit intimidated. And she kept talking about all that or whatever. But then the problem turned out to be that she seemed to be crazy. So she got my phone number from my homeboy, and I had a pager at the time, right? Because it was 96, 97, 96. We had pages, right? So she blew up my pager like 13 times. Like she just stayed blowing up my pager with voicemail after voicemail after voicemail after voicemail after voicemail. And I'll never forget one day, um, my homeboy warned me that she was going to come stop by my house. Now get this. She had, as a pet, a Vietnamese pot belly pig. I'm not making this up. She had a Vietnamese pot belly pig. And she had taken her Vietnamese pot belly pig to the photographer to take pictures with Santa Claus. And she just showed up at the door. So I tried to go tell my mama, and by the way, she was black. Just before you get this twisted, she was black. Um, I tried to go tell my mama that if this girl came to the house, that I was not home. And my mom was like, why are you telling me about this? And I kind of explained what I could explain to my mother at the time about the story. And see, the problem with my mama is this. Let my mama get a hint that there's some girl who likes you, who's looking for you, and you're just trying to dodge her. You know what my mama will do? Oh, well, this is where he is right now. My daddy ain't saying nothing. You call my house and ask for me to this day. My speak to Bo, he's not here. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. My mom... My mom going to tell you just where I'm at, right? So anyway, that day she stopped by with the Vietnamese pot belly pig, and I talked to her for a little bit, and I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. She like wearing this red and green outfit because she was taking Christmas pictures with the pig, right? She really took Christmas pictures with Santa Claus and the Vietnamese pot belly pig. Anyway, I really wasn't on it. It wasn't like it. It, it is. I just I wasn't feeling it like that. So I was, you know, and hey, y'all, I was a little, I was a little thrown off by a lot of this. She kept the pig in the car. She didn't bring the pig in the house because she brought a pig in my mama's house. Then all of a sudden, my mom would have been like, "My bad. I should have said you wasn't here." So anyway, a couple weeks later, I was at my homeboy's house, and he went to get a phone call, and then he came back, and he was like, "Yo, old girl just called, looking for you," and I was like, "Well, what'd you say?" He goes, I told her you were at the Bayou Classic. That's what friends are for. Anyway, I'm at the Bayou Classic. So we go to the mall on the day after Thanksgiving, that Friday, me and my man. And we're walking, and I look, oh, shit. It's her. So I tell my homeboy, yo, yo, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. She said his name. I dipped. I, put, I turned around. I put my head down. I took it to the other side of the mall, right? And I'm out. I go. I see the girl that I used to have a crush with while I'm running away from this other girl. You know what I mean? It's all bad. But we got a problem. 
Me and my homeboy rode together, and at some point we got to go home, and I ain't have it in me to ditch him. My homeboy later told me, actually, I get to that point. Like, I, I just couldn't ditch him. I couldn't ditch him. I couldn't ditch him. So I'm just walking around the mall. Then finally, I see the two of them walking together, right? And I'm like, look, ain't no way for me to get out of this one. There's nothing. They're there. They're walking together. Here I am. I just got to own this, right? So I start walking their way, and I hear my homeboy scream out, Hey, yo, Patrice! And I was like, Oh, snap. Perfect. Because what you don't know is that my brother's name is Patrice. So when I heard him say, yo, Patrice, I was like, it was like, it was just chemistry, right? Like we just, we just clicked right there at that moment when he said, hey, yo, Patrice. And I walk up and he's like, hey, um, here's Bo's twin brother, Patrice. And I like instantly went into this alter ego, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, what's up? She's like, you're Bo's twin brother? Hell yeah. Y'all look just alike. We twins. I don't know why, though. She, he get all the girls. I don't know why I can't get no girls. We all look the same. I mean, I just rolled this out, Jack. I rolled this Patrice thing out until she left. And I was just like, whoo. My homeboy told me that he had actually walked with her to the parking lot and stood by my car talking about, yeah, um, maybe Patrice went to the car because he didn't want to get left. So he tried to make sure the car was still there. <laughs> so he took her to the car. Because he always had his Patrice plan. He always had his Patrice plan. <laughs> so yeah, that was the time I pretended to be my twin brother. I kept that line up for a while, too. I think I saw another time that I was Bo's twin brother. In fact, no, that reminds me. I went to this party with my boy that she had had with a whole bunch of people from PVA. And we went to the party. And when I got there... I decided I was going to be Bomani because I couldn't keep up the Patrice thing for too long. And I'm there and she tells somebody, oh, my God, he's got a twin that looks just like him. And I just sat there chuckling. 